So I'm still working on the golf cart here and went ahead and took the handles, took, took the handles off, painted them with Rust-Oleum satin. Went with some Nokens seat covers here. This is a new pattern they just came out with. It's the mini diamond with some white piping. Now there's nothing on this golf cart that's gonna have white, so I just wanted to break it up a little bit and throw some white piping on here. I think that looks pretty good. The backrest looks great as well. Easy to install. They just have these straps and there's buckles there, right? There's the battery compartment down there. So we're going ahead and we're doing the back seats now. I'm about to start this bottom one here. This is the backrest seat here. Also have some Nokens cup holders we're going to put on here. And even though we painted the headlights in, if you watch that video with the Rapture liner, well, I've ordered some Nokens headlight kit as well. That we're going to put on the golf cart. Hopefully that will uh, give us a little bit better lighting and some other features as well. But I wanted to pick the camera up and show you that. There's the seat bottom there. This is the seat itself. Got a bunch of trash and everything in the shop here or in the garage. So that's the seat itself. This is the seat cover. Love these Noken seat covers. I'll place a link to them in the description below if you want to check them out. They make all different kinds of patterns and colors. Very easy to install. You don't even need a staple gun or anything. Actually, no tools. Like on these um, back seat ones here, they just have the Velcro okay that you can attach to it but on the front seats there they actually have um, like a like a strap with a buckle on it so all right so this is what i was going to run but instead i opted to go with the nokens headlight deluxe kit here it has your usbs your daytime running lights it's a street legal kit here i think this is going to look a lot better we're gonna have to push it in so we can cover up majority of this black you see in here. It will fit, and with two hands you can cover it up just like so. That's gonna look much better on the front and the back of this golf cart. It also has your USB for the dash, and it comes with your uh, voltage uh, reducer in the package as well. So everything you need is in this right here box. However, we're gonna go through it I'll show you kind of how to install it. Now this kit has your headlights, your tail lights, your voltage reducer, it has your USB for the dash, it has every single thing you need to install on your club car golf cart right here, okay? And I'll go over this right here entire kit once I'm done. Look there, there's your voltage reducer there. So this kit comes with everything you need. You don't have to source other products uh, when you install one of their Nokens kits, I'll place a link to this kit right here in the description below and show you exactly what I got with it once we get it done, finished installing it. Okay, so here's the deal. I'm installing this Nokens turn signal kit. I have it facing the passenger side so I can put these clamps on the steering column here, except this one right here does not have this piece of rubber on there. The reason it don't is because with the rubber, the holes will not line up. It's like this right here bracket is too thick. So if you're putting this right here on a club car DS, just note you might have to remove this piece of rubber here to attach this clamp to hold your turn signal stalk in place. All right, so let's go over the wiring here. This right here, small harness, connects to the nine pin of the main harness that runs to the back. But let's talk about this little short harness here first. This white connector here and this red connector, these are gonna go to the headlights on the golf cart. These two connectors here, one's gonna be horn positive and horn ground. You're gonna have three more wires here in the middle. This is going to be your on and off switch and your daytime running light switch. This yellow wire that's by itself, this is gonna go to the ignition side of the key switch so once your golf cart is powered on this right here wire will send signal to the dc to dc converter to tell it to turn on and off you have a couple of extra wires here positive and ground one of these is going to be positive and ground for the usb connector now the other positive and negative can be maybe to power a radio or whatever you'd like right here you have two grounds and two positives one red is the rear 
the pink is the front. Now you have ground for both of those. And these are going to be for extra lights that you want to place on your golf cart. Say you want to place a light bar on there where you can hook it up to here and control it through the stalk. Now on this 12 pin side of this small harness here for the front, this is going to go to the stalk on the turn signal for your switches, your headlights, turn signals, and your hazard lights. This harness plugs into the rest of the harness here. Now let's go over this harness here as well. These wires here, these are going to go to your brake light relay module here, and it's going to go for the brake light as well. So the brake light relay module will turn your brake lights off after a while if they've been on. You got some other wires here. You have this connector, and you have the input for your ignition switch here. We're going to run that yellow and green to this yellow and green right here as well. Unplug this one connector here, plug it in there, you're done. You have your output side of the DC converter. It's going to go into the harness just like so. Then on this right here, DC converter, you have a red and black wire that's going to go to the main battery pack, positive and negative. The rest of the wires here, these are going to go to your tail lights. And one's going to be for the driver's side and one's going to be for the passenger side. I'm running all of my passenger side lights to the red harness and driver's side lights to the white harness. There's a stalk there. There's this connector there, which is the 12 pin as well. And you also have a flasher relay down there as well that's built into the harness. All right, so I have everything installed for the headlights and taillights and turn signals and horn. Everything's done except this step here. This is the brake light portion of it. And this right here, one J bracket here. It has a compression style mount. You're going to mount this to the brake pedal itself. Once you get that mounted, take this nut right here with this lock washer, tighten it up against it so it doesn't move. This right here switch comes in contact with the uh, bottom portion of the floor. Okay, I'm going to show you how we're going to get this installed along with this right here relay here. Now what this right here does is like after 60 seconds I believe, if you don't install this, the brake lights will stay on. So we're going to put this in line here so in case you put it on a part brake or whatever and you leave the key on, well the brake light wires will stay on as well. So that's why we're going to put this unit right here in a place. So we're going to do that now. Now I have this J mount installed here. We still need to tighten this right here uh, nut into place to that lock washer so it doesn't move. But up here you see it's resting up against it. Right now these two wires do not have continuity. But as soon as we hit the brake pedal, that switch opens up at the very top and we do have continuity. And that's exactly how that works. And I went ahead and there was a hole in the side of the frame. I just took my Christmas tree built drilled it out just a little bit, ran the wires from the main harness over so I don't have to run them underneath the frame. You have a red wire out the main harness. I have it going into the brake switch, out of the brake switch, going into the brake switch relay. Then we got black from the relay going into the harness, yellow from the relay going into the harness. And you have this yellow and green. You're not gonna have to worry about that. Next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and tighten these wires up and we'll be done with this install. There was two holes in the frame, so I was able to take the zip tie, push it through the bottom hole, come out the top hole, and zip tie everything to the frame there. It might not look the prettiest, but it's gonna be there just to keep everything nice and neat when you're going down the road. Now, if the brake lights ever quit working, you have a fuse here. The fuse could go bad or something can shorten out, so that's there to protect everything, but this right here install, is complete and the headlight tail light complete install is also complete as well so i wanted to go over the lights real quick and show you exactly how they work first we're going to turn on this is going to be your daytime running lights okay it is white but the next option here is going to be your headlight switch on and off so that's your headlights on and off you can pull back on the stalk that's your high beams pull back again that's your low beams this is what the left turn signal looks like, right turn signal, this is your hazard lights. Now your right turn signal without the, the light itself 
basically the turn signal is like a halo around the light itself I think it looks pretty good here's the left first switch is going to be your daytime running lights nothing happens on your tail lights when your daytime running lights are on second switch is going to be your headlight and tail light switch so that is your tail lights there or not your tail lights but that is your running lights your brake lights right there and right turn signals left turn signals hazard and your horn all right so i want to hang at the front end all together minus that one screw right there i put a 12 inch light bar on here by neo evo took the front bumper flipped it upside down i cut a little bit out of the top there just so i could press it down into place there and bolt it up now that's bolted up there as well probably not going to put that big sgc plate here um i think it kind of takes away from the look plus it's a big gaping thing that hangs down and if you ever go off road with these things that's the first thing that's going to hit so i tend to leave those off but Yep, she's looking pretty good. Now, I tied this right here light bar to the Nokens Deluxe Kit. Uh, on that kit, remember, it has a front fog light and a rear fog light, basically accessories. So this is the first turn, and I left the back, the, or the second turn open for the back light in case someone down the line wants to do that. I'm not going to keep this golf cart. Uh, some of y'all know that I'm just, I got it to flip, so turn the Neo Evo uh, light bar on that's how bright the light bar is and this is going to be your headlights driving around it's pretty cool about the headlights is and you have a high and low beam on the headlights right now this is low beam that's high beam back to low beam